Today, I'm going to show you a couple of tricks you can use to extract specific fields from your logs. Things like IDs, key value pairs, or even nested JSON objects. When you're working with logs, it's common to run into messages or fields that don't follow a standard format. While a pre-built integration pipeline may already extract basics like timestamps or source classes, other valuable information such as customer order IDs or error codes can still be buried inside a single log message. In this video, I'll explain how you can pull out those fields and turn them into attributes you can query, filter, and analyze. In my Datadog organization, I have a steady stream of logs emitted by my web store service. If I open one, the source indicates that it's a Java log. Some details have already been extracted by the Java integration pipeline, such as the timestamp and the class that generated it. But inside the message, there's more information about the orders, such as the order ID and the store ID from my web store service stored in a JSON object. To extract these fields, I'll adjust the existing Java integration pipeline instead of creating an entirely new custom pipeline from scratch. In the list of pipelines, the Java integration pipeline is marked with a symbol that indicates that it's pre-built. By default, these pipelines are read-only. To adjust them, we'll need to clone the Java integration pipeline. When we clone a pipeline, Datadog creates an editable copy and disables the original. In the new copy, both the pipeline and its processors can be modified. In this case, we'll edit the first graph parser titled Parsing Java Default Formats. Within this graph parser, we can see six different parsing rules that are already defined. These logs are being parsed by the first parsing rule, Java Default. For these logs, there's a JSON object that follows the order process text. So we'll add a JSON parser to follow after the message that is parsed by data message. To indicate where the message ends, we'll add a backslash and a colon right after this filter. Then we'll add a data JSON matcher to parse the contents of our JSON object. To avoid breaking other logs that may be parsed by this rule, we'll wrap our new text in parentheses and a trailing question mark. This makes the new matcher optional and ensures logs that match previously will still be parsed without issue. With this change, we'll save the updated rock parser and go back to the logs explorer. We can see the JSON object from the message is now parsed, giving us more detail about the orders being processed. However, when we look into a warn or error log, we see that the exception attribute still contains additional information. Within this exception attribute, we want to extract the item ID value as its own attribute. To do so, we'll need to make further revisions to our clones Java pipeline. This time, we'll make a new grok parser in the pipeline to target the exception attribute instead of defaulting to the message attribute for parsing. We'll start by scrolling to the bottom of our pipeline and selecting add processor. For processor type, we're going to select grok parser. In the sample section, we can copy one of the values from the exception attribute into a corresponding panel. For this exception, we'll create a simple key value filter across all of its contents. In this case, the rule will look something like this. This key value filter has a colon and space, specified as the separator between the keys and values. With our sample log, we can see the results of the parsing rule under the extraction box. The last setting we'll configure for this processor is to parse the contents of the exception attribute. By default, grok parsers parse the contents of the log message, but under advanced settings, we can set the extract from field to use another attribute, in this case, exception. With the grok parser defined, we select create to save it. In this case, we can now see an item ID parsed into its own attribute. 
matching the contents of the exception. That's how you can improve log processing when using log pipelines and processors in Datadog. By first cloning an integration pipeline to revise an existing processor and then adding new processors to extract specific fields, you can enrich your logs with all of the details that are meaningful to you. From here, you can make log analytics, dashboards, or alerts to get even more value out of your logs. Thanks for watching. Check out this video's description for blog posts and docs where you can learn more.